a lot of variables have changed and a lot of financial data has changed. Uh, tracking has changed. So you're going to see some changes, you know, uh, whether it's going to be a higher uh, amount or lower amount, uh, we'll know for sure on Monday when, when we have the budget in front of us. Tidegui says one of the big new impacts to expenses are the 22% pay raises and increments totaling about $46 million. So expect senators to also arm wrestle over the revenue projections as they determine how much they're able to spend. I think this year we're not going to have that so much of a leeway like we've done before being really conservative um, in the last three budgets, uh, knowing that the surplus has been quite a bit. I think now is the time that uh, if there's any interpretation of this budget yielding more revenue, then that revenue is going to be spent, you know, up front, not anticipating any type of more uh, surplus at the end of a fiscal year. The total revenue for the current fiscal year, including general funds, special fund, and federal grants, totaled $1.02 billion. Tidegui's not sure yet, but expects the 2024 fiscal year's number to be higher. You know, that the majority, almost 90% of everyone that came in front of us during budget is increased. So let's add that 3% increase per each agency, yeah, you're looking at about almost $100 million additional. Meanwhile, Budget Director Lester Carlson, one of the governor's top financial advisors who typically represents the administration during budget sessions, is on medical leave and is not expected to attend. Adelou says Administration Director Edward Byrne will take over for him with support from other Budget Bureau representatives. Nestor Lacanto, KUAM News.